Hey, how about a quick tip video? Okay, quick tip video time. Sometimes when you start these new Hondas, the brake pedal will kick back or pulsate at you. And it's only going to happen right when you start it. Let's go into the hood and I'll tell you the first thing that I look for um, when I hear this complaint. Alright, the first thing that I check when I have a complaint of the brake pedal kicking back at you right when you first start it up is the battery. And I know what you're thinking, big dog, why would I want to check the battery? This is my brake system we're working on. Well, a lot of newer vehicles, a lot of new Hondas, like this one here, this is a 2017 CRV, have electronic brake boosters. That's that thing right down in there. Old school vehicles had um, vacuum assist brake boosters, so they used vacuum from the engine to assist with the uh, brake booster, which assists you in braking. Now, many of these new Hondas come with electronic um, braking uh, brake boosters, and so because of that, obviously they're electronic, they need battery power. And so what happens is if your battery is starting to get low, when you first turn it on, that really puts a strain on all the electrical systems and the voltage may drop low enough so that some of these control modules will shut off for a second and then they'll start back up. And in the case of this electronic brake module, what happens when that voltage goes too low and then all of a sudden it raises back up once the engine started, um, then all of a sudden it realizes, hey, something went wrong, my voltage went um, too low, and it has to reset itself. And it does this very fast. And as soon as it resets itself, you'll feel that brake pedal um, pop back at you. And so that's why one of the first things I look at is a bad battery. Do testing on the battery. Make sure everything's A-OK -okay with that before we start diagnosing anything else in the system. So that's my quick tip of the day. You got an electronic brake booster that's kicking back at you? Check your battery first before you go replacing any other parts. And as always, if the video helped you out, you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. All right, a little bit of bonus footage. Um, another way to confirm our suspicions um, of what's going on with the brake booster is to scan the car. So you can see I scanned it, and there's our electric brake booster control module right there, and we do have a fault. So we'll go in there and check it. And we'll read the codes. And hopefully you can read that. But it's a U3003-16, which is a brake booster control unit low voltage. So at some point, this vehicle has definitely seen low voltage. And when that happens, it's going to reset itself, and you'll definitely feel that kickback. And if you're curious what the fault codes were in the body module, where it showed like five faults, there they all are right there. Lost communication with power windows, communication bus line error, lost communication with the MICU, power tailgate control unit, lost communication, um, heater current from the passenger seat abnormally low. Um, possibly not that one, the uh, heater current, but the rest of these where they lost um, communication, most likely the modules were talking to each other and then like you go to start the car or something, voltage drops down too low, they lose communication briefly when they obviously believe they shouldn't be losing communication, and they kick out these errors. So these are all consistent with the low or bad battery. So my guess is the vehicle battery um, is going to need to be replaced relatively soon. Thanks for sticking around to the end.